All right, y'all. What it do? What it do with the lit greed? All right, so we got a new video, right? Um, I've been thinking this video kind of circle around on my TikTok and whatnot, and um, a few clips then and there, right? So I'm like, you know what? Who is this dude? Because I'm assuming right now he's going viral if I keep seeing his clip, right? So for the extra, um, I'm assuming a crip, a crip out of um Cali. I'm not assuming it from from what I got from a couple of the clips. A crip from Cali. You feel me? So I'm like, you know what? Let me let me check this interview out. Like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have watched this interview. And for the one that already watched it, ain't trying to watch it again. Listen, just listen. You ain't gotta watch this video, but just hit that like and you go about your business. You feel me? Or just eat, leave any kind of comment under this video. Well, not just any kind of con. Not just any kind of comment. But um, no. Nah, for the one that never seen this interview. We gonna be the first one to check it out together. You feel me? So with that, let me stop holding. We are gonna get into this Cam Capone news for Forty Extra. All right, Four Extra. What's up, man? Glad to have What's you up, back. Man? You know, it's a pleasure, man. All the time I tell you, you call me, man. I'm coming back. You already know. For you, I'm always gonna come back. I appreciate it, man. You know, you got the hottest, the hottest guy out of LA doing these interviews, man. Oh, Killing you know, it, man. Kicking down doors and shit. I'm kicking them up, down, and they're like, what? 60 some other interviews already. <laughs> and you only been out of jail like six months? Six months. I'm kicking down doors, man. You know? So I got a question, right? Um, I know that we're just only like 30, 37 seconds into this video. But for my question, to my, for my question to like, you know, some people that just pop up out of the blue, we never heard of, never seen, all of a sudden, you know, they're getting they're jumping on different platforms doing interviews or whatnot what did he get famous for or what was it that he did when he got out of jail that everybody wanted to do an interview like if it's, if they're gonna explain that in this interview okay but if they don't y'all write it down in the comment down below and let me know what is he known for i'm saying i ain't stopping man shit i done did so much shit uh since the last time i've been here i done did like uh shit like 13 12 interviews after I left you. Just in that same month after I left you. You get what I'm saying? Shit, I didn't know. Uh, how was it after we did the interview? What was it like? Did things change for you at all? A lot. It changed for a lot. It changed a lot. It changed a lot. When when I when we did the interview last time and that mother dropped, that mother went viral. That mother shot to the roof. You get what I'm saying? Once again, thank you for letting me get on your platform. You get what I'm saying? Shout out oh, to my man. boy Cam, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for doing it, you know what I'm saying? I'm up went viral. Everywhere I looked and went, it seemed like somebody was there. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? You did your shit on that, you know what I'm saying? So thank you once again for that, you know what I'm saying? Told you, anytime you need me, call me and I'm going to pull up. I'm here again, man, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I done been on uh, no jumpers. I just did one with no jumpers, man. You know what I'm saying? I did some with a couple other broadcasters already, man. Well, a lot of broadcasters, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I did the documentary with you. Man. Now, I can't wait till that come out. Heat. Now, that's, go that's heat. You get what I'm saying? That's a lot of shit on here. Walking through my area, my neighborhood where I grew up at, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my homies on that one, you get what I'm saying, talking. We went to No Jumpers on that one and shit. And I've been working on the book, you know what I'm talking about, that I talked about last time still, and I still want to tell some stories that's on there, you know what I'm saying, that I want to put on there. That's out there, you know, that's real close to me. And stuff that's in that book, you know what I'm saying, that people that can relate to. My bad, I know y'all looking at me like, what the hell is this man is doing? Stay, like, you sit your ass down. I had, to, I had something stuck in my chair, bro. I was trying to get it out. My ass couldn't get to it. You know what I'm saying? I've been feeding the homeless, been giving back to my community, helping my community out. You know what I'm talking about feeding the homeless. You know, it's the holiday time. It's the holiday season. You know what I'm talking about? Happy holidays out there. Day the Christmas, you know, from where it was in the world and the world was behind the wall. You get what I'm saying? Happy, good New Year's. So, I've been busy, man. I've been busy. I've been busy, though. I hear that, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, man. Thank That's you, man. Stuff, Thank bro. you. Thank I got, you. I know you got a lot of stuff coming up, too, man. I got a lot of stuff coming up, man. I got to go uh, I gotta go back to No Jumpers, man. I got uh, two more interviews to come out with two other broadcasters, man. 
if I'm mistaken, I think I have seen a video recently saying that, um, unless I'm wrong, y'all correct me, that he might be replacing Brick Baby. Like, from his last interview, or his recent interview that I was talking about, that he was, the interview that he was doing is actually, well, with a possibility of a, that, of that interview was for a job position. I got another documentary, man. You get what I'm saying? I got some more stuff to do with you. You get what I'm saying, man? In this book, you know what I'm saying? I got to let this book release. So it's a lot, man. And I'm coming out with clothes items and other stuff for people around the world and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Just in case they need it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. It's a whole lot. Well, what's your take on the current state of the streets and everything that's going on right now? now? Why about it? Why buddy look a little fidgety? Oh. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, boy, listen. People that are very fidgety, you gotta watch out for them, bro. You gotta keep listening. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you all right? Just sit back, bro. You you ain't gotta do all that. Just sit well, back. Well, you know, the taking the corner uh, thing, I think how it's going on on the streets right now. Times is hard right now, first off. You get what I'm saying? It's the holiday, you know what I'm saying? It's hard out there, people struggling, you get what I'm saying? Uh, some people working, you know, getting jobs, and some people can't hardly get jobs. You get what I'm saying? The streets of L.A., you get what I'm saying? It's always been dangerous, so that's number one off the bat. You know what I'm talking about? Always been dangerous, you get what I'm saying? But right now, I think, you know what I'm talking about? The point is, right now, is this day, I feel like, you know what I'm talking about? Helping each other, looking out for others, you get what I'm saying? Helping the next person, you get what I'm saying? That's down instead of thinking about yourself, you get what I'm saying? Because there's more people out there need help than you think of. You get what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people struggling. There's a lot of people homeless out there. So if you're fortunate, I say help the next. You get what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, Tate. I hear that. How do you feel about all the robberies going on? All the the just run in, grab? I'm going to just say it like that. Like that. Hey, chat, how many times did he say it? Know what I'm saying? You know, like 20 people going in there. Oh, grabbing man. as much shit as they can and bouncing. Well, you know, man, I don't condone into it. You know what I'm talking about? Cap, but life cap, is hard. Cap, you know cap, what I'm talking about? Cap. And that's a lot of people that's, once again, that's doing bad out there. You get what I'm saying? So some people that's doing it, they don't really mean it. They need it. You know what I'm saying? Because some people is not fortunate like the others. Don't, don't mean it. It makes it right. It don't make it right. You get what I'm saying? Even though you go work for what you want. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like a hard place stuck in a rock. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's been a you lot, know a lot, a lot, man. It's just, you know, motherfuckers is leaving with like hundreds of thousands of dollars of shit, bro. You know, it's not, yeah, they're not. You ain't lying, man. You know, you think they're lying about how much they're getting? Man, I don't know how much they getting, but it is a lot of shit. I mean, they're, they're hitting high-end stores and shit, you know? Well, you, well, look, you got to think about it. Shit. The economy right now, it's already hard for people. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people ain't got nowhere to work right now. People losing their housing. It's so sick. Since I've been out these six months, I've been seeing a lot of stuff. Like, meaning as, uh... Shit, pre uh, Trump just got elected for president, so... We'll see if a lot of prices go down on certain shit. Mainly the gas and groceries, bro. It's a lot of homeless people. I don't think that many people was homeless. Well, the homeless it's probably it. changed a lot since you were last out. Yeah, wasn't that many homeless people when I went in? It's so many people that's homeless. People that I know that's homeless now. Like, what the f is going on? You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to just say this. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think if out of Philly, if it Philly, New York, and Cali, that got the highest um homeless rate. Cause I know they said live in downtown Philly or wherever, it have a shit ton of homeless people. So in which part do California fall then y'all let me know and it's not they homeless on purpose 
it's just everything that went up, the inflation that went up. You know what I'm saying? It went. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. You actually have to be pausing it too much. Which state they said that they actually paid people to be homeless? Ain't, ain't there a state that they said that they paid people to be homeless? Skyrocket to the road. You know what I'm saying? Just for a McDonald's meal, now it's like twenty twenty seven dollars You know what I'm saying? That's just you. I ain't talking about two people. That's one person. You know what I'm saying? So you can just imagine the gas and everything else in life. You know what I'm saying? So people is doing stuff to survive in the world. It's not like they doing it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? It's people doing stuff to survive in the world. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's a good way to survive, but it's stay way to how to survive in life. You know what I'm saying? And people ask for help. And sometimes people be thinking like, ah, oh, they don't need help. It's a lot of people need help. As I've been seeing since I've been out, you get what I'm saying, and feed the homeless and giving back, it's a lot of people need help. It's kids out there, it's older people out there, you get what I'm saying, it's younger people out there, and that's killing me. I'm like, dang, a younger person don't have a job? That's killing me. Now that's killing me. I'm like, so, I ain't gonna lie. Life is right here, it's, you know, it's hard, but, you know what I'm saying, one thing for sure, I always tell them, don't let it get in your way and don't let nobody stop you, you know what I'm saying? Try for your goal. Get what you need to get. You know what I'm talking about? Get a job. You know what I'm talking about? Do better in your life and strive harder. And don't ever put yourself down for nobody who won't put you back. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I've been doing. I've been going forward. Ever since I got out, I've been running. I ain't letting nobody down. I'm not looking back. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking nothing for granted. I got on your show. Look at me now. <laughs> well, you know, I thought we'd take it back a little bit more, man. Go ahead, man. You know, what are some of the good times and bad times you remember growing up? Oh, man, let me see. The good times was playing my brothers and my sisters. You know what I'm talking about in the backyard. Talking about with our dog, you know what I'm talking about? Making clubhouses out of board and you know, just laying around somewhere in the alley or somewhere, you know, talking about in the yard my uh, dad. Or, you know, sometimes the hard time, you know what I'm talking about, was uh, going to school, not having lunch money. Or, you know what I'm talking about? Knowing I wasn't going to get no Christmas presents. You get what I'm saying? Or my mom did try to get some Christmas presents, and they all came from the 99 cent store. You know, my friend, all oh, his toys came from, like, Kmart or Target. So, for some people that don't know, right, for Haitian people, well, I doubt, I doubt uh, they're still doing this now. But so for Haitian people, um, their thrift store for their kids was like was um yard sale. Yo mama gonna wake up early in the morning, get your ass ready early in the damn morning, and we are going out to yard sale. We call it Pepe. Yeah. So you know. But my mom made the best of it, so, you know, I was happy. Even though I probably didn't want the toy because it was going to last for one minute. It didn't break because my mom had this door. But, you know, I was happy she did it for me. You know what I'm saying? Probably not the toy I wanted, but it's the thought that count. You know what I'm saying? I love her for it. Man, okay. Damn. So you guys had a, you guys had an extra rough. Yeah, yeah. Growing up, that's what my dad always used to tell us, you know, work for what you want. You get know what I'm saying? Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do what you want. Work for what you want in life. You get what I'm saying? As long as you work for what you want in life, and as long as you go forward, you will get there in life. You get what I'm saying? So I always took my dad motive, and I always stuck it, and I was applied it to me. You know what I'm talking about? My brothers, my sisters, they all did it. You know what I'm talking about? They work for what they wanted. That's the only way you're going to get in life. You know what I'm saying? Work for what you want. You got to get what you want. My mom, I love my mom, too. My mom's inside my book, too, and my dad's inside my book. You know what I'm saying? If you don't mind me talking about it. No, no, it's all good. Oh, uh, no. yeah. Well, my mom... My mom died on Thanksgiving last year. You see, the last time I came to your interview, you know what I'm talking about? Bro, my man. mom died on Thanksgiving. So this, so this ain't his actual first interview, um, from what it sounds like. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, the clip that I was seeing, he was wearing the same exact jacket. So that's why I went for this video. But shout out to you, bro. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mom Dukes. Yeah, man. So I, done, I found out 
inside the cell. My mom was already died. My mom was already died, passed away for like three to four days. So when she was already passed, I'm inside my cell. We was on lockdown. So they call me over the speaker. Hey, and he was a new guy. He was a rookie in the tower. Call me over the uh, tower. Hey, uh, Benjamin. I'm like, yeah, you're like, uh, call your family. I, uh, I think your one of your parents died. I get on tear like, what? So I get to screaming at the convicts, get to screaming like, what type of bullshit is that? How you call them over the tear? You know what I'm saying? He popped the door. He's like, hey, man, they just told me to tell you, man. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. I apologize. I'm like, what? So I go to the phone. Uh, I call my sister. And Sound I, like he was finna beat up, buddy, for doing his damn job. job. She like, oh, she just broke down. I knew right then and there. She said they, she died on Thanksgiving. She died in the hospital. She stopped. How, how hard was that for you being in jail? Well, shit, you know, I'm, that's my mama. She had me. She brought me into this world. You know what I'm talking about? My mom and my dad raised me. I grew up with my parents, you know? So I love my mama. I love my dad, you know? So that was hard, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I, I was inside of a cell, you know what I'm saying? I had just talked to my mom two weeks before that. So it was a, it, it took a toll on me, you know what I'm saying? And any real person hearing that or hearing this or watching this, they should understand, you know? It's our mom, you know? I love my mom, so it took a toll on me, and I stuck. I was stuck right there, you know? And I didn't know what to do. I went back to the cell, you know what I'm saying? They talking about another phone call. I come on, I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear that shit, you know? I went to the cell. My homie in my cell asked me what's going on. Like, my mama died. He didn't even know what to do. He like, damn, that's my bad. Shit, I sit on my rack, drop my head. You know, I was stuck in the cell with all day. And my mom died. Oh, so at that point in time, you thought you was, you you were the, you were there for life. Yeah, I was there for life. It was I didn't know about if I was getting out or nothing. I didn't know about none of that. I didn't know I was coming home. I didn't know about none of that. The only thing I knew, I was washed up. I was stuck. You get what I'm saying? I was in a cell. I I can't even watch my own mom get buried. You know what I'm saying? That shit took a toll. I was sitting in the cell. You know what I'm saying my homies came by, sending their condolences to me. Then after that. You know, uh, they went, they let us out the yard. My homeboy asked me, like, you don't go to the yard? You don't stay in? Call your people? Like, I'm going to go to the yard. I got to walk and spend some laps, you know? Because I'm stuck between these walls. I can't walk out that cell. And what I got going on with my... It's you know, like once you get the bad news, bro, and you're so speechless, your heart falls to your ass, you don't know what to say, what to do. You don't know how to act. People are telling you, let's do this, or do you want to do that? And it's like, no, like... Bro, I'm lost for words. I'm shocked. I don't know what I want to do. I don't I think I just want to be to myself. I think I just want to. You feel me? So that's what it. That's what, that's what yeah, it actually happened. To that yard. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a different world inside there. So people understand on the yard and on the street, they understand it's a different world in there. So I spent the lap, caught some air, spent the lap with my homie, talked to my homie and shit. No shot in and shit. You know it's like about? basically you still don't believe it, so you're in shock. You're in the, you're in uh, disbelief. So you're trying to process, process it. One of yards spending laps and shit. Went back up in there and shit. You know, I asked the counselor, "Hey, you think it's a way for my family to pay or probably pay to watch my mom get buried?" She's like, "Nah, I didn't call her a bitch." She like, "What?" She know I wasn't all the way there. She just, "Hey, just go back to your cell. I'm out of here." You get what I'm saying? And the cold part about it, a couple of months later, they tell me I'm going home. I didn't even get to watch my own mama get buried. I think that's the worst thing to me. You know, I'm talking about when your parents leave you, you can't even watch them leave the world. The first time, the last time you're going to see them, man, whoever got a mom or dad, they for sure should relate and understand this. You know, so this Thanksgiving, I was out for it. So this Thanksgiving, uh, all my brothers and sisters, and my wife, we all went together, you know what I'm talking about? And we went out and we put flowers on our grave and we celebrated it, you know what I'm talking about? And I got to see our grave site, sat at our grave site and stuff, my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm talking about? I spent it with my family, my first one out. I really didn't care about the holiday no more because my mom died on it. Yeah. I just thought about my mom, so.
if the fact that his mom passed away on the worst holiday, and I don't mean by like Thanksgiving is the worst holiday, I mean it by like when I say the worst holiday is because around this around that holiday it went well basically this holiday because we're already in November you feel me so basically when it comes to this um holiday this is where they ask you what are you thankful for what are you grateful for and all that and so you could be like I'm grateful to see another year grateful to to do this grateful to make it this part and it's for him what does he have to be what does he have to be thankful for on Thanksgiving when his mom passed away? Not a damn thing. He could probably say, "What well, shit? I'm thankful for being out of prison, or you know, I'm I'm thankful for like you know I got out and started putting money in my pocket." But at the end of the day, he still lost a loved one, someone really close in that, and like he said that you know put him into the world. Man. But it's in my book. It tells a lot in there about my books about it. You know, it tells about my dad death in there too. You get what I'm saying? It tells how he raised me up in there. You know what I'm saying? It says a lot in that book. So it's a good book. You know what I'm saying? It's no bullshit. Strictly across the board. All real shit. No fiction. Man, it's like, it's like niggas gotta go to jail, right? And I don't mean every nigga, but it's just like, it's like I feel like sometimes to me. Niggas gotta go to jail just to find out what, um, what you call it, what kind of talent they got. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, when you hear people are locked up and they do a whole bunch of, like, go go gadget type shit, and you're just like, God damn, these niggas are creative as fuck. How come they ain't put that shit into, into youth when they're in the free, in the free world, right? So, I just feel like, man, this is where some, like, because, do like, from his profile, right? From his profile. Game member, da da da, whatever the case. This nigga talking about he wrote a book. And then you know you have a lot of different inmates come out, wrote a book, uh, started a merch with uh, t shirts and all that, whatever. Like they, they found some kind of shit, like they kind of found some kind of hustle in there and turned it into a business. And it's like, why you had to go in to find it out, like figure it out that way? You get what I'm saying? On the A1. So, you know, when they read it and they get it, they're going to appreciate it. I know I do. Sounds good, man. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you. For sure. For sure, man. Well, you know, you you mentioned that you had all day. You had a life sentence, man. Yeah. Take me back to that day that they told you you were getting life. Oh man. And and what was the emotions like and what was going back to your cell like, man? Man, when they told me, man, I uh they told me at first when they slapped me with all that goddamn time, life without, you know what I'm saying? I was zoned the f out. I was already tripping. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I probably was thinking I was going in there to find out shit, not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But you always gotta hope for the you even gotta hope for the worst, expect for the best. Or hope for the worst and expect for the best. Whatever which one you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I was going in there juiced up like, okay, you know, they're going to get me out of here. I ain't dead. That mean there's a 50-50 chance of you, you know you did it. But if the judge and your lawyer job to figure out if you really did it. So that's what he mean by it. Like, hope for the worst or hope for the better, the better the worst. So you're hoping to yourself, like, man, they ain't going to find nothing. They ain't going to find nothing. I'm going to be innocent, right? So that's where you're thinking for the better. Thinking for the worst is like, yeah, I kind of did that shit. They might find out so shit. I hope not, but fingers crossed. I might not suck, too. Yeah, no, please. I was out. You know what I'm saying? They whacked me. I looked at them. My family's back there crying, screaming. You know what I'm saying? I bought them my hands. The lawyer told me, told, told me, hey, man, my bad. I'm sorry and all this. I'm gonna put an appeal in for you. I looked at it, you know, like my bad. I looked at it, I'm like, shit, you know, shit, you did the best you could. Shit. I asked the uh, judge, you know, can I have my sisters in there? He, uh, he was like, uh, no, nah, you'll see them later. So I'm like, what? I caught an attitude. They told me to go back to the pack. I was tripping. 
and shit. I went to the back. I was tripping. Shit, this was this was home. It was gonna be home to my pills, so shit. I was tripping. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, only thing that was stuck in my mind is destroy shit. I'm in a county jail. I'm tripping. Destroy shit in this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? They took my freedom from me for no reason. So you know, that was my mind, my state of mind. Mm -hmm. you know for what I'm no saying? reason. And I was just well, tripping even out until I got to the No reason for real. Why is your got on my book tip and you know to get my pill to get the, up off that yard? What were your charges for this? Oh man, some shit. You know, I don't like saying my charge, but I have some high profile charges. You know. Some stuff that I didn't do, you know what I'm talking about? Some high pro cases, so, you know? I don't like bringing up my charges, but, you know. Okay, fair enough, man. I didn't do it, you know. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you play the fifth. Cause you know for sure you would have had some niggas get on this motherfucking as soon as they would have got asked. What was your charge? Uh, uh, aggravated battery. Uh, uh, attempted uh to fail. Uh, 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 like you feel me? Nigga would have gave you a whole list. This nigga just said, bro. I just like little TJ had said. I got some charges. You won't look at me the same. Wait, I hope that wasn't a good reference. Wait, well, who were some of your favorite rappers coming up? Well, shit. Uh. Juvenile, Snoop Dogg, oh, degrees. Tupac, Biggie Smalls, you know what I'm saying? Old school. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, there's some hard ass rappers on the East Coast too. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to the East Coast. Uh, Dr. Dre, you get what I'm saying? Uh, 50 Cent, 50 Cent coming up. Shit, uh, who else? Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, uh, uh, Dove C, Warren G. Uh, West Coast up. dudes, a lot of West Coast. Yeah, a lot of West Coast dudes. I like the Nas. Hold on, I like Nas too. Jay Z, Jay Z harder back then. Don't don't Everybody. take that from him. Pub Daddy is too though. Pub Daddy. Maybe this is just my generation, and I don't really care what y'all say. But in my opinion, in my opinion, my personal opinion, you don't have to take it. You don't have to do whatever you want, but. All I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say, JD's not the best rapper alive to me. But he was too back then, you know, shit. Puff Daddy was hard back then, you know what I'm saying? Mace had his time. Mace was hard too, you know what I'm talking about? Mace, Mace yeah, was Mace, dope. Yeah, Mace was dope back then. Mace was dope back then. You know, Missy Elliott was doing her shit. I can't stand the rain. You know what I'm talking about? She was doing her shit back then. The Brat, she was doing her shit back then. It was a lot of good rappers back then and shit. You know what I'm talking about? It was a lot of good rappers back then and shit that I listened to. It's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Ice Cube, he was hard as back then too. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of West Coast, East Coast rappers. That Basically, were everybody was popping was in their prime. I listened to all of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I used to listen to a lot too? And the reason that, 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 that is because those were uh, the only person that was around, around when the hip hop started records, getting bigger. Uh, uh, L.A. Cool J. I need love. I love cool yep. Yeah. Yeah. Old school. I, <laughs> I used to always play that shit. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, what's yeah. up. That's what's up. How'd you get your name? Oh, man. That's, I got that when I got put on. I got that name when I got put on. I got my name when I got put on, man. Feige. I was fighting my homie and stuff. When I was fighting my homie. I was fighting. They was older than me and shit. I was young at the age, so they was older than me. So they was like uh, 16, you know what I'm talking about? 17 and shit, they was older than me. So when I was fighting my homie, I bust my homie lip. You know, he was fresh out of YA. And I bust his lip for me to so be so skinny and young back then. For me busting his lip, the homie's like, oh shit. So they asked me like, you want to get down again with him? So I told my homie like, yeah, it don't matter. So my homie like, he got extras. So when they said that, he like, you know what? That's his name. And they stuck with it, and I squabbled my homie up. And I kept going with it and shit, even though I lost. But shit, you know I split him open. That mattered to me. Yeah, he was older than you, bigger than you? Hell yeah, off the back. You know you ain't gonna win no put on. But you know, I still split his shit open, though. 
Let me just stress out the Drew Brown and, and, and handle your business. Shit up, and I'm still ready to follow with your ass. What was it like going to school after you got jumped in? That changed. That changed. That changed a whole lot. I was getting cracking. Our gang wasn't too much like back then. You know what I'm talking about? We's powerful, we strong, you know what I'm saying? We always hold our own. We in school, you know what I'm saying? It was all. Nah, There's a lot nah. of people that beefed my gang back in the school. So, shit. All I'm, all right, so I'm not finna try to glorify this shit. But take it out y'all want. Can you imagine growing up, going to some middle school, high school, well, I'm going to just go with high school, right? You are a full gang member. Beef, beefing with the, oppo- uh, with the oppo- opposition. Oppo- like, beefing, you, you feel me? And you got you to gotta throw down every single time you see these niggas. Like, I know some schools, you know, they had their own segregation type shit. Like, you know, for my school, it was mainly like, you know, the Haitian versus the blacks. You feel me? But it never lead to life being taken or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure what a lot of kids that started off earlier being a, a affiliated probably didn't even make it to see graduation. Or even in senior year. So, in my opinion, like, not in my opinion, but I'm just, I know the schools in Cali just was cracking every morning, bro. Like, 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning, niggas getting stumped out and live in, in the damn hallway. Like, bro. Off the bat, once they find out where you at, it's on. I damn near got kicked out of all the schools I went to. I got kicked out of Horseman. I got kicked out of Fauche. I got kicked out of Manual. I got uh, uh, kicked out of Carver, uh, shit. Uh, then they put me in Westside Academy, continuation school, and I got kicked out of that. Like three months in there, for squabbling. Are these all high schools? Are high, these schools high schools, middle schools. Now, are any of them like, cause I know in LA, like sometimes you'll have like a, a blood school or a crib school. It don't, well, it don't matter what school, we there. You get checked in, you get checked in, you going. Cause if you get kicked out of one school in your area, they're gonna send you to the school over there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as like, oh, you know, back then, no. If I get kicked out of this school right here, they're going to see me over there. So you just got to go over there and do your stuff. You're going to get kicked out of that school too, but you're going there, though, for sure. Cause that's the school they're going to have for you. And that's how I went to all them schools. And then they ended up putting me in continuation. Well, that's how the academy I got kicked out of that motherfucker. And that motherfucker was in my hood. That motherfucker was in the heart of my hood. That boy sound like Craig. How the hell, like smoke? How the hell you get fired on your day off? That nigga, I, look, I got kicked out of the school main school that was to this next man. to my crib. I'm trying to talk to her and shit. She telling me I got a boyfriend. I'm like, yeah, where your boyfriend from? She like, oh, he from over here. I'm like, never. He can't go to our school. She like, he over here. He walking over here. Her boyfriend walk up. I'm like, where you from? I immediately get off. <laughs> Cracking in the hallway. Was he? Was he a blood dude? No. You see what I mean? Like, nigga went to go holler at a show and said, what's good? She said, listen, I'm taken by who? By Hoover? Oh, no, that's dead with nigga. Over here, chick tell you, oh, no, I'm taking that. I'm like, all right, then, you know, they, they didn't. I ain't even gonna lie. Niggas out here are so reckless. Like, I want to say petty. Maybe you feel me, Cali. Cali different. Y'all niggas throwing down. Y'all niggas shoving against logger this and the third. But if a nigga get rejected like that, like how he did, like just in that whole um way, it wouldn't even be no no like well, it would, but it wouldn't be like the the reason why he why he fought. The reason why he fought was because um like well like he said affiliate different uh different affiliate right. Out here, we would have just went off on the female. Well, all right, there ain't nobody one of your bald headed musky, like musty ass anyway. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, would have just went off. Her, 
Fourth would have came and trying to like you know play Superman and Death where would have turned into like man nigga ain't nobody worrying about you da 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 you feel me and it's like are you what was like you want to square up you what, you trying to you feel me so in this situation his situation he like nah nigga we never no nah, hell no these niggas moving I was the back I cracking them boom we get to swabbing them up in the hallway. Motherfucker, this what got me kicked all the way out. The principal bitch ran in back of me. And it was like, stop. And I turned around and clipped her. This man said the principal bitch. <laughs> oh. Thinking it was another kid. Oh. It was over then. Dang. It was over. That bitch put me, she put me in jail right there on the spot. Yeah. I want to jump right there on the spot. Uh, I didn't even know it was her. I just felt the hand I turned around and clipped her. Yeah. I didn't mean to do it either, man. <laughs> she probably watching Just got in the wrong way. Just, listen, you, you, listen, just timed it wrong. That's all that happened. So you get to juvenile, how long were you in juvenile hall for that? I was in juvenile hall probably like a week. They let me out and shit. Kicked me out of that motherfucker and stuff. You know I'm saying? That wasn't nothing. Shit, you know, it wasn't on purpose. I didn't mean to knock her on soccer for purpose and shit, but I was kicked out of the schools and shit after that. So I just, you know what I'm talking about? Didn't like, go back to school? Did you nah. ever get your GED? Yeah, I got that shit in jail, though. I got that shit in jail. I ain't gonna lie. I went to jail and got that shit. I, don't, I ended up going to June Hall. I got a gang of credits in the halls, but I ended up getting it in prison, though. Because in the halls, you ain't really gonna get it like that. In the halls, you're gonna be fighting every day. Every day. Ain't no, you go to school, as soon as you walk inside this classroom, you getting cracking. Off the bat, somebody in there that you beef with, somebody somehow, some way, and you better get cracking. Cause if you don't, he is. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I got my shit in the prison when I went to prison. Okay, what's what's like a fight in juvenile hall that you could talk about? Like you you walk shit, in there I, and you see like, you know who's shit, your worst? I've been in gang fights in juvenile hall. Shit, I've been in boys' or I got cracking in boys' or You know what I'm saying? I've got cracking in line movement. Take, take me through one. Me shit, through I was in Boys R one day. Shit, I'm in Boys R one day. Shit, boom, I come to Boys R, boom. I went to get trans. They sent me back to, uh, what's the name, back to the Y unit. So I went to get sent back to the Y unit from East Lake. <laughs> so I'm in East Lake and Boys R waiting. So when I went to Boys R, they all doing up people on that trans packing. I was going to on the bus. So I went on that, boom. My enemy coming up, boom. So he come in, we already know each other. So as he walk in, he walk past, you know what I'm saying? He walk past, boom, they tell him, Go sit down, no fighting, watch the TV, see everybody leave. That's how they be doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm maybe, I turn back and look at him. I'm like, what up? He throw his head up, I'm like, what up? I'll bounce up off the back. Rush him. Ain't no such thing, we gonna be in here, we know what's up already, boom. We get maced in that motherfucker, they mace us up, slam us up, they take us to the box. So we don't leave. We go straight to the box, to the hole. So we stay in the hole for like a week. And then they transfer us out, back to the wild unit. Well, I was Like this is, I, I I know there's there's some uh some wrong in this or whatever, but this is to me what you call God heart, cause you end up taking affiliation to something, and then every time you feed someone or your opposition, like I, like you know, you straight up immediately get to work, where some people just you know join and they run their mouth and don't do nothing, but this one joins. And every time he sees his opportunity, he beep, 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 beep. Went to the Y unit. I think he was going to camp somewhere. So, boom, I ended up going to the Y unit. So, I went to the Y unit. What's the name? So, every time, like, you know, shit, line movement. Like, if I'm walking to class, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yo, unit, you got EF, you got KL, MNN, GH, TV, you know what I'm saying? So, if you line up, you know what I'm talking about? You say bobsled, you come out, you bobsled on the ground. You line up, you get to walking across, you see your enemy across the field, see him off the back, you know, you tell him to meet him halfway, off the back, run and meet him halfway. You better meet him halfway, if you don't, we own you. You know what I'm saying? Or in uh, medical, you know what I'm saying? Or for dental, anywhere, anywhere we at. Anywhere I can get to you at, I'm gonna rush you. If you my enemy, I'm gonna rush you. Don't matter where we at, I'm gonna get it in. Church, don't matter, it didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's the halls. You know what I'm talking about? It's a bunch of kids. That gang bang, you know what I'm talking about? That's in there going up. So it's worse in the halls than it is in county. 
Nah, hell no. The county jail work, you know that. That's grown men playing there. That's all playing there. You know, that's all squabbling the knife playing there. That's no, that's no, what? That's a county jail. No, juvenile, they ain't got nothing. Even prisons ain't got nothing on the county jail. County jail, you ain't nothing got nothing on that county. Nothing beat our county. Our motherfucking county is vicious. You want that motherfucker. Quick, they ready to roll it up. Get the fuck up out of there. You know how that go. Well, you seen a lot of people roll it up. Well, I done rolled a lot of people up. What I got to see it for when I done rolled them up? I done rolled a lot of people up. You get what I'm saying? See, it's a lot of people. That nigga said, he said, why, why do I got to be the witness when, I do, when I'm the one that did it? People that be lying. Acting like they going in there turned up. That's a lie. You get what I'm saying? That's why well, if the real ones watching this, they know. A lot of them motherfuckers out there be lying. You know what I'm saying? You get up that motherfucker, get to rolling it up. You know what I'm talking about? Acting nice as be turned up out there or turned up somewhere else. Come there and be nice as a bitch. That's mm -hmm. one thing you got to know about that county. Yeah, you're going to get some back right now, motherfucker. You don't, you're going to roll your ass up. <laughs> okay, uh, there's people watching this that have never even been close to gangbanging or the streets or, or being hit by a bullet, man. What does it feel when them bullets are going by you? That's what I'm going to tell them. That's what I'm going to tell them. First off, if you don't gangbang, don't start. Don't start. If you older and you don't game bang, don't start. Take your ass to school, be a football player, be a basketball player, go help your moms out, go get rich. You know what I'm saying? These colleges is paying you to play football now. Go get rich. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your mom, buy a house. The economy is different. The world is different now. You get what I'm saying? It's way, way more places and way more stuff you can make money than do with your life than sit around and game bang. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying numbers wrong with how we grew up in our gangs is how we grew up now. But life is not, it's more easier in life for people now. You get what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell him, if, if a kid asks me, you get what I'm saying? I know the world want to see, that's how I'm going to tell him. You get what I'm saying? And nobody want to be shot at. Nobody. You get what I'm saying? Nobody want to be shot at. Nobody in the goddamn world want to be shot at. So, this what I'll tell the world. If go to school, you know what I'm talking about? Get an education. You know what I'm talking about? Do something good with your life. He ain't lying. Don't follow the street, bro. Follow the follow the path that's gonna get you where you need to be. But other than that, listen, y'all want me to finish the rest? Y'all hit that comment, let me know. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. You feel me? Hit that follow button on on Twitch, by the way. And um, I'm gonna catch y'all. Y'all feel me? Stay out the way. One.